This is Pastor Scott. Um, I just wanted to share this wonderful Bible that I got for my birthday uh, from Mama and the Lord. I had prayed and I wanted to go out to uh, Lead Bellies or one of my favorite um, barbecue places with the cash that Mom gave me for my birthday. But uh, due to the CV-19 or whatever you want to call that, places are not open the way that they would be and it's just not the same to eat barbecue and take it home it's just lead bellies is so awesome so there's a plug for them but this is uh wonderful i, I got this i wanted it in an auction uh on goodwill.com a brother of me had uh sent me one of these um uh, while ago i traded him for a study bible that i had and i just fell in love with this little guy it's the the Expositor's New Testament, Counselor's Edition, uh, by Jimmy Swaggart's ministry, and it's just absolutely wonderful, has uh, the the Bible in black, and then the red, the commentary, right in, mixed in with the verse. It's so awesome, and at the end, it has helps for counseling, you know, on alcohol, and smoking, and things of that nature, scriptures on forgiveness and what. It's just a wonderful tool, and the size is so cool. It just fits in your hand. I was so stoked on that that, that I decided to uh, to spring for this, and the Lord provided, like I said, in, a, in an auction, and this is a $100 Bible at least. I um, can't even really find them on Amazon for much more than 100 maybe 50 if you're fortunate. Uh, but anyway, it's the Expositor's Study Bible by Jimmy Swaggart's Ministry. It's the most unique aid to Bible understanding available today. Uh, that's what they said when they printed it. But um, it, I just love this idea. And it says here, virtually every scripture is self-explained. King James Version, like we said, we're on the One Accord Crusades. King James Preferred, as we say, a biblical text in black and the expositor's notes in red. And don't get all tripped up by that, the Jesus in red. Um, that was never in the original Bible, obviously. Um, and uh, they added it later. And some might argue that it actually takes away from the text. Uh, when it's in red, then Jesus is in red. Some people like that. I have different uh, Bibles as well. It's a matter of preference. But uh, it's expositor's notes are positioned immediately following the scripture phrase or even the word examples on the back. Bonded leather covers Smith's sewn binding, which is good, should, should last a little while. It's a uh, paste down or glued down, so it's not entirely a uh, premium Bible by any means, but it's just wonderful. Um, concordance maps and a sorted Bible helps, and I just love, and I'll show you because I already peeked, sorry, uh, and uh, the maps, the quality of the paper and the maps themselves are just awesome. Utilizing some of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars, it's in the large print, Bible dictionary, Bible encyclopedia, Bible commentary in abbreviated form. So here's the box. I hope you guys can see that. Um, and it is, the, the text is, it's not like extra large print, but it's not too small, so it's actually really good. There's an example of it right there for you guys. Let me just get up on the camera, see if you can see that. <clears throat> like I said, my phone has been being really weird lately. Whenever I go uh, live and turn it on the landscape mode, it just gets scrunched and weird. So, yeah, there's some of the notes. Let's just read it. Uh, verse 15, Isaiah 52, 15, so shall... He sprinkle many nations, the kings shall shut their mouths at him, for which had not been told them shall they see, and that which they had not heard shall they consider. The as of verse 14 corresponds with the so in verse 15. The statement is that the that just as the Messiah astonished men by humiliation at his first advent, so they will be astonished by him in glory at his second advent. For in his first coming, the basis of men mocked him. So in the second coming, the chiefest of men will stand in silence and awe before him. And it goes on to say, And which that they had not heard shall consider refers to the fact that Christ's humiliation, the sufferings, death, resurrection, and ascension to heaven, events that had never entered to the hearts of men to conceive, and which, therefore, no tongue had ever spoken and it also has which is really cool right here you can see chapter 53 it has an estimated time 712 bc so that's really cool i have that in my allen bible right here 
Um, I just wave at some of you. It has the, this is my preaching Bible and pretty much everything Bible, but it has here at the tops 6 26 B BC for Haggai, which is really cool. This is my this is my go-to Bible, preaching Bible, everything. But let's take a look at this while you guys are here with me. Like I said, I hope you can see it. Can't really tell because of the way the camera is, but I tried to position this. So yeah, like I said, I already cheated. I looked at it. I couldn't help myself. But here it is. Let's get rid of the box here. Just beautiful. It's bonded leather, so it's not like a premium goat skin or whatever or uh, calf skin, but it's just wonderful. Holy Bible, King James Version, Expositor's Study Bible with the Concordance by the Jimmy Swaggart Ministry. And like I said, it's just wonderful. I'm just even afraid to, to open this. But uh, an old Bible that I had told me that when you open a Bible, you're supposed to open it at several spots and then kind of press it down to kind of ease it in. Um, that was in an old Bible I have here that I got. I think this one here is for Richard. Uh, Holy Bible Revised Standard Version. has instructions on how to open a Bible, and you just open it up in several spots and kind of push it down when you first get it. So, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It has two ribbons here. Let me get to one of them and show you guys. Decent length, just small, nothing too fancy, but a nice little set and finish on there. So, yeah, and let me just close that up. I'm particular about my ribbons not getting bent. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. Bonded leather, beautiful. She's pretty thick in size because they have expounded on every verse. Though I'm sure I might not agree with every everything that's in here, that's of no matter. I mean, at least I can learn and uh, cross-reference and check and all that. And it's just absolutely wonderful. So as you see here, we have the scripture in black and then the expositor's study notes in red from different uh, scholars. And Jimmy Swaggart himself, as you can see here as we open it up, we'll just go through it black. And like I said, it's paced down couple of pages um, even as I open it there's a little bit of uh, coming apart there I can always glue that back together I got Bible glue right here always on hand um, and a little stick I can repair Bibles and that's a wonderful uh, glue that was uh, recommended by Jeremy Rice if I'm not mistaken so yeah Holy Bibles Ex Expositors Study Bible forward and then I think on this side, it tells you in the back who worked on it. I think I saw that. Let me just check. Here are those maps that I wanted to show you. They're so awesome. Here's notes. Hold on. Let me see here. I think it tells you who were the scholars that worked on it. I saw it somewhere. Uh, I don't know where it is. But anyway, let me just get back to the review. Or not the review, but the unboxing. So there you go. And it's also a review as well. I just think it's wonderful. It was presented too from the occasion. And then the foreword, like I said, and it just gets right into the scripture. Amen. And let's just see what Genesis says. Let's go over there together. And seven reasons why the Expositor Study Bible will help you to understand the Word of God. And you got your Old Testament books, New Testament, and the Bible helps right there. Introduction to the Bible, chronological, chronology of the Bible, translations, money, weights, and measures, Jewish calendar. I can't wait to check that out. Plants and animals of the Bible, terms frequently used. Um, harmony of the Gospels, parables, and miracles of the New Testament in concordance. That's really cool. Uh, and then also, what must I do to be saved? Baptism in the Holy Spirit, the cross, your faith in the Holy Spirit, scriptures for salvation in 12 pages of maps. Oh yeah, here's the contributors. Uh, Leslie Carlson, Ph.D., Professor of Biblical Background and Archaeology from the Southwest Baptist Theological Seminary. Lowell Coolidge, Ph.D., Earl L. Core, Ph.D., Huber L. Drumright, Ph.D., and uh, Virtus E. Gideon, a THD, all different uh, professors here. And let's just check it out what it says right here. Chapter 1, 
estimated around 4004 BC, the original creation in the beginning refers, and here's the notes, in the beginning is the text, refers to the beginning of creation, or at least the creation as it refers to the this universe. God, uninformed, unmade, uncreated, and no beginning. He always was, always is, and always will be. God, and then that's the text, and then the phrase in the beginning explains the first cause of all things as in regards to creation. And then the text says, created the heaven and the earth, and then the notes are, could be translated the heavens and the earth because God created the entirety of the universe. And it just goes on uh, from there on through the entire Bible. Almost every verse explained. So cool. So cool. And then you get back to the back here. Let's go to Revelations and uh, see where, what's going on here. About 18. I know there, what, there's 22 chapters. And lastly, it says here, Revelation 21, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that's the text, and then the uh, notes say, presents John using the very words of Paul in the closing benediction, Christ the source, but the cross is the means. And then the text says, be with you all, amen. And then the notes say, this proclaims the fact that it is the same message for all and is available to all. The word amen or amen, depending how you like to say it, closes out the book of Revelation and, in fact, the entire canon of Scripture, which took about 1,600 years to bring forth in its entirety. It gives a claim to the finished work of Christ. It is done, and thereby all heaven, along with all redeemed, must say Amen. Isn't that awesome? So I just love it. And then, like I said, it just gets into uh, all these extra helps. A nice, wonderful article I'm going to read later, Introducing the Bible by Huber Drumwright, Languages of the Bible, Divisions of the Bible, the New Testament, Arrangement of the Bible, Canon of the Bible, and Text of the Bible. And then we have Chronologically, Chronology of the Bible Translation. And then weights and measures. And like I said, it's just awesome. Oh, the Jewish calendar. I can't wait. That is going to come in so handy. I always hear uh, preachers talking about this. I know some of this, but it's really going to be neat to be able to have this available in a Bible and to, to be able to follow along with the Christian calendar uh, as uh, it corresponds with God's Word. Amen. So that's really cool. And then plants of the Bible. That's awesome. And it just keeps going. Frequent terms, harmony of gospels, of course, like most. And then you got your uh, concordance. And here's the other thing, like I said, there's some helps, a plan of salvation in the back and baptism in the Holy Spirit. Nice concordance. And it wasn't just done uh, happenstancely. It, if, it, it was done very nice. And there's wonderful uh, amount of scripture here. Uh, really a lot of pages. I mean, we're already a big chunk here. That's M F C right here look at that a big chunk of pages and then like i said back here look at the quality of these and this isn't some cheap bible paper this is like magazine paper i mean some might not like it because it's glossy and such but i really like the way it feels and the color is just outstanding and we have the physical map of palestine the exodus the traditional uh routes and such and different early uh israelite settlement uh Empire of David and Solomon, the Kingdom of Israel, and the divisions, things of that nature, uh, the temple, uh, where when Jesus was around, and just just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful maps. I just love them, and I can't wait to look at that. So that's basically it. Here's the little guy. I love this. This is the New Testament. This is the big bomber, the whole thing. God bless you guys. Pastor Scott checking out. If you need anything at all, give us a call at 1-855-70-JESUS. Or if you'd like to know more about uh, One Accord Crusades and what we do, uh, or if you need a reading plan or anything, just get, uh, log on to our website at oneaccordcrusades.com and uh, check out all the things. There's different tabs you can click on, even a prayer request there if you guys want to write one in or call us if you're in the United States of America. God bless you. Pastor Scott checking out. Sorry for the length of this. I was just stoked.